Okay, welcome to the Jumper Online class. Today we're going to Unit 2, Class 6, but first we are recording, uh, we are uh, correcting, I mean, Class 5. We had some homeworks. Remember I said you had to do a drawing? Yeah. But you don't need to do it if you don't want to. Did you do some drawings or... I don't know if you like to draw or not. Yeah. Did you do any drawings? Or not? Sorry? Did you do any drawings? Did you do any designs here for this exercise? The tables between this one I didn't. You didn't, yeah, because I said you could do or not. So let's go to number two. Can you read the instructions, please, for the exercise? Complete the sentence in the present continuous test tense yeah. with the verb in the brackets. In brackets, yeah. Brackets is the same thing as parentheses. So very good. You had to put the everything in the Present continuous. Oh, let me try. Oops. Present continuous tense. And do the necessary changes, okay? So please, can you tell me what did you do there? Come on. She. I'm going to ask you to read all the sentences, okay? She's cooking at the moment. Yes, they. They are having a meeting. Yes, Michelle. Michelle and Carlos are talking on the phone. Perfect. I. I'm working right now. I'm working right now. Yes, very good. Now the negatives. The girl isn't watching. Isn't watching uh, ing, right? Isn't watching. He isn't writing a report. Okay. I'm not exercising at the moment. Okay. We aren't listening to the music. Uh huh. Angelina. Angelina isn't eating. Yeah, isn't eating. And now the questions. Is Mary playing video game now? Uh huh. Is the boy sleeping? Yes, perfect. Am I going to the party? Perfect. Is he reading a book or a magazine? Yeah. Are you speaking to me? Yes, perfect. You got all correct. Okay. The necessary changes you, you had to make with the ING, verbs ending in E, for example, have, exercise, write, remove E and put ING, right? And I think that's the only changes we need to do here. There are no double letters or nothing like that. Okay. Well, let me just do one thing here. Yes, so people see me when they check this out. Okay. Uh, let's go on. Exercise three. Can you read the instructions just to remind us what you were supposed to do? Natalie, hello. Ah, oh. uh, thank you. Yeah, instructions, please. Oh. Look at the picture and make sentence in the affirmative, then change the into negative and interrogative form of the past present continuous. Yeah, so you had to look at the picture here, the pictures, and uh, make three sentences, one positive, one negative, one interrogative or affirmative negative interrogative okay so let's check picture two what sentences did you do 
The boys are swimming at the pool. Correct. The, the boys aren't swimming at the pool. Uh -huh. Are the boys swimming at the pool? Yes, very good. Could be swimming at the pool or in the pool as well, okay? Because they are inside, right? So maybe you could use in the pool. Picture number three. They are studying at the library. Oh, they sorry. Are... Okay, you're doing this, the library, okay. I want to. Yeah, you skip. É o do piano agora. Yes. He's playing piano. He mm -hmm. isn't playing piano. Is he playing piano? Yes, very good. Now this one, the studying. They are studying at the library. They aren't studying at the library. Are they studying at the library? Yes, very good. What about you? Do you like swimming? Do you swim? Can you swim? No. No, I can't. you can't. Okay, but do you like going in a swimming pool sometimes when it's yeah. hot? Yeah, it's good. Huh? And instruments? Can you play any instruments? No. Would you like to learn? Yeah. What kind of instrument would you like to learn? Um, guitar, piano. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. Must be nice. I don't play the piano as well, but I think it's very nice. What about picture three? Do you... Do you, do, do you like studying? Yeah. Yeah, very good. What's your favorite subject? I don't know. Subjects is like math or no history, <laughs> English. Yeah, I I like history. You like English? Yeah. Very good. Me too. So let's do some more. We still have three pictures. Let's do the baby one. The baby one. The baby is sleeping on the bed. Mm -hmm. The baby isn't sleeping on the bed. Yeah. Is the baby sleeping on the bed? Perfect. Now about the hip hop girl. She's dancing in the park. She isn't dancing in the park. Is she dancing in the park? And the two kids? Is is are, are those two kids or a mother and a daughter? Two kids. Okay. And they, the child, the child, the children. Are sleeping some, some bread. The Perfect. children aren't sleeping some bread. Are the children sleeping some bread? What did you mean? Can you children? As crianças estão comendo é pão. Oh, they are eating. Okay. Very good. Yes, correct. You said. The children are eating, right? Sometimes people forget that the plural for child is children, right? Child is singular, children, plural, right? Child, children. You could always say kid or kids as well, okay? But kid and kids that's that's a normal plural it's a regular plural right kid kids mm -hmm. child children no child is one children more than one e não existe children's né a gente fala ah, the children's uh, 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 uh. children children is plural okay você fez certinho aí colocou children e como é plural children is plural so children are very good Só para mostrar, just to show how it was then, the sentences. Uh, here, the sentences are correct. However, you made the sentences more complete. Yeah, you put in the pool. 
play piano, the piano. Você colocou mais alguma coisa? He's playing the piano. Did you put a place? Uh, no, I just, just put piano. Okay. And the studying you put in the library, right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Então você colocou um lugar, né? Legal. Okay. People who are going to see this or do this after, they can put places. That's a good idea to put a place. Okay, very good. Here as well. Do bebê também, the baby you put a place on the bed, if I'm not mistaken. And you put a place here as well. Ark, right? Yeah. And heating, you put bread. They are eating bread. Okay. Eu acho também no começo aqui você colocou the children are eating bread, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Yeah, more complete sentence, the better. Okay. Perfect. Let's go on. Choose the correct sentences. Okay, so you had to this was a linear exercise like this, okay, horizontally. This is the correct, okay, she's practicing, she practicing, aqui não tem o is. So this one is wrong and this one is correct, okay. Now let's see if you got it. Please, Natalie, tell me which sentences are the correct ones. A. Uh, I'm running to the park. So, number two. Yeah? Yeah. B. Barbara is sleeping. So, number one. C. The baby's crying. Two. D. They aren't next to the club. Yeah, so one. E. Are you eating are you eating are you eating out tonight? The number one. Number one, okay. F. Are you and Jeff working out? So one. And G. My friend isn't from. My friend isn't coming. My friend isn't. Okay, so this is which one? One or two? One. Yeah. Perfect. You got it. Okay. G, the apostrophe is in the wrong place, right? So yeah. this here, apostrophe in the wrong place. Okay, very good. Uh, traduz para mim essa aqui, ó. E. É, você está comendo fora hoje de noite? Ok, quase certo. Quando você usa present continuous... Tá, então... Are you eating? Beleza. Se fosse assim, ó, você está comendo? Are you eating, né? Ou, oh, are you eating out? Você está comendo fora? Beleza. Como ele coloca um tonight? Whoops. Tonight. Quando você inclui... Aí, hein, galera? Ó, presta atenção. Quando você inclui um tempo futuro numa frase de present continuous... Ela se transforma em future. Então, então na verdade, ele está falando... Você vai comer fora hoje à noite? Tá. Porque fica até estranho, né? Você está comendo fora hoje à noite? É. Não, é você vai, né? So, if you get any sentence, né? For example. 
Uh, I am studying. Beleza, estou estudando. I am studying next week. Então fica, eu vou estudar semana que vem. E não eu estou estudando semana que vem. Tá? Então é só colocar um tempo futuro ali. Vira future. Tá bom? For question as well. Yeah. Are you... Are you working next Friday? Né? Digamos. Então, o que, que eu falei aqui? Are you working next Friday? O que, que eu falei aqui, Natalie? Can you read this for us? Are you working next Friday? Você Isso. vai trabalhar na próxima sexta? Exatamente, ok? Você vai trabalhar na próxima sexta? Então, quando você colocar um tempo futuro, if you put a future time, a future time in the end of a sentence, you are making a future sentence, ok? Ok. Ok, very good. This is the end of our uh, homework correction. Let me, whoops. Let's go for the student's book for our class of today. We are going for unit two, class six. Can you read the title of the unit, please? Vocabulary, the buddy, match the words with the picture. Yes, ok, but first here, ó, oh, título da unidade aqui, ó, oh, title of the unit. You have? You have beautiful eyes. Eyes, yeah. So we are talking about the body parts. Né? Partes do corpo, body, ok? Can you repeat? Body. Body. Body, yes. Body é o corpo, né? Ok? Corpo da pessoa, das pessoas, né? Os nossos corpos aí. E também uh, body é usado para outras coisas também. The body of the guitar, né? o corpo da guitarra. The body of a car, que seria a carroceria do carro, o corpo do carro, a carroceria, ok? É usado para uh, outras coisas também. Of course, here in this unit, we're talking about the body of the people. Ok? So, here we have some body parts. Vamos escutar então aí, ok? Acompanha, por favor. <coughs> Escutando a primeira vez, let's go. Arm. Back. Ear. Eye. Face. Finger. Foot. Hand. Head. Heart. Knee, leg, mouth, neck, nose, shoulder, stomach, tooth, toe, tongue. Okay, now let's do one more time. Can you repeat the pronunciations, please? Okay. Let's go. Arm. Arm. Back. Back. Ear. Ear. Eye. Eye. Face. Face. Finger. Finger. Foot. Foot. Hand. Hand. Head. Head. Heart. Heart. Knee. Knee. Leg. Leg. Mouth. Mouth. Neck. Neck. Nose, nose, shoulder, shoulder, stomach, stomach, tooth, tooth, toe, toe, tongue, tongue. Yes, very good. Okay. Now we can try and complete. Put the names in the in the correct places. 
Coloca os que você sabe, the ones you know. It's easy. It's, it's easy. Oh, very good. So tell me. Here. Nose. What? Nose. Here. It's uh, here. And here. Mouth. And here. Tongue. Tongue. There. Shoulder. Shoulder. And here. Heart. Heart. Here. Back. There. Hand. And here. Foot. Foot. And there. So. 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 Yeah, that's very good. Uh, so with the girl. I. Eyes. Head. Head. Mm. Viu? Eu acho que aqui, ó, desse lado do menino, aqui, ó, não Sim. é mal. Aqui, ó, do menino, desse lado, não é mal, não. Aqui são os dentes, here. Ah, yeah. Né? É o, é o tooth. tooth. Aqui que é mouth. Yeah. Ela tá de boquinha. She has her mouth closed. And there yeah. you can see his teeth. Ok, so here is mouth and here. Is neck. Yeah, just say neck. Yeah, neck. Neck, yes. Here. Arm. Arm on left side. Stomach. Stomach. And here. Um, finger. Yes. And here. No. Knee. Knee. And the last one? Leg. Leg. Okay, very good. So let me just erase this. Claro, essas aí são algumas partes do corpo, né? These are some a few parts of the body. You have more. É... Uma coisa legal que você pode fazer aí, né? Quem estiver fazendo esse exercício aí, pode fazer. É colocar os plurais das palavras que tem duas. Ok? For example, finger. Faz ali um barrinha. Fingers. Ok? Leg. Legs. Tem os plurais, né? Knee. Seria knees. Ok? Toe, that's the plural, toes. Hand, hands. Okay. Arm, we have two, so arms. Neck, face, head, é só uma mesmo, mouth, só uma, estômago, só uma. Eye, you have plural, two eyes, so eyes. Okay, put the plural of the words there. Would be very good. Nose, we have only one. Teeth, oh, eles já escreveram teeth no plural, porque é dentes, né? And only one is tooth. Okay, you have tooth and teeth. Né? Tooth is one. Agora o foot não colocaram, ó. The plural of foot, feet. It's irregular plural. Hand, heart, so on, tongue, so on, nose, so on. Ear, yeah, ear we have two. Ears. Shoulder, we have two shoulders. Shoulders. The back is so on, também. Only one back. Okay. That's very good. Então tem uns plurais irregulares aí. You have irregular plural. Foot, feet, tooth, teeth. Yes, dentes. 
Uh, another thing I would like to point out, né, uma coisa para a gente apontar aí, né, e uh, uh, give a highlight, it's this, toe, toes, finger, fingers. Fingers are in your hands and toes on your foot, ok, on your feet. Você não pode falar assim, ah, eu peguei, I touched with my toes. Não, toes é do pé. Fingers in your hands. Ok? É, antes eu confundia o finger com toes. Finger com toes, né? É, que é tudo dedo, né? Mas... Uh, there is a difference, yeah. Eu... Quando eu tava nos Estados Unidos lá uma vez, e daí eu falei pro cara que eu tava... Tinha sujado meus pés. Falei, ó, oh, I, I, eu tava comendo sorvete, assim, e caiu o sorvete, né? Derreteu no meu, na minha mão. E eu falei toast, daí ele falou, why? Did you kick the ice cream? Ele falou, não. Você chutou o sorvete? Ah. <risos> um eu não... Eu falei, ah, eu sujei meus dedos do pé. <risos> ele falou, oh, você tá comendo com a... <risos> Tá comendo com o pé o sorvete? Are you standing? Ele perguntou assim, why are you standing on it? Tipo, está em pé em cima do sorvete, né? Eu falei, no, my fingers. Sorry. É, toes. E ainda... The, fala, the, fala, querido, pode falar. The part of the, the body is are easy, but the organs are more complex. Oh, more complicated than in internal organs. So you have heart, lungs, liver, bladder. Liver is him. Liver right? is, no, uh, fígado. Fígado. Fígado, yeah. Liver is fígado. Kidneys. Kidneys. Kidneys are os rins. Eu acho que é até kidney, se eu não me engano, ou assim, kidney, e daí no plural, kidneys. Kidneys, yeah. Let me... Kidneys. Oh, internet, hein? Come on, work. Acho que é isso mesmo, acho que é isso mesmo. Kidneys, são os rins. Anatomy, apareceu escrito. Anatomy. Yeah, I'm talking about anatomy. Come on. Kidneys. Yeah, isso aí, são os rins mesmo. Não, escreve assim, ó. Kidneys. Não, é do jeito que eu escrevi mesmo. O que é esse outro kidney que apareceu? What is the correct spelling of kidneys? The generation of kidneys. É isso mesmo, com yes. E-E-S. Kidneys, yes. Bladder, que eu coloquei aqui. Bladder é bexiga. Lungs é pulmão. Pulmão. A liver. Kidneys é. Rins. A bexiga. How do you say pancreas? E pancreas é pancreas mesmo. Pancreas. Hmm. E o cérebro? How do you say cérebro? I have no idea. Brain. Brain? Brain. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Brain do... Por isso que eles falam, vamos fazer um brainstorm. Né? Brainstorm é quando todo mundo dá ideia para alguma coisa e tal. Então é uma... Hmm. Tempestade de cérebro. Brainstorm. <risos> yeah, your brains. My brain.
Ok. Very good. E daí vai, né? Claro, igual o português. Cada osso. Ah, então ossos, né? Bones. São os ossos, né? Bone. Bone one, bones. E a pele é skin. Okay. Ossos e pele. É... Claro, se você quiser estudar mais, é só pesquisar aí, né? Saber que vai ter um monte de coisa aí de, com relação a partes do corpo, né? E ossos, nomes diferentes, ok? So, let's go to activity number three, ok? Exercise three. Can you read the instructions for us, Natalie, please? Three? Three, yes. No, no meu tá dois. Really? Ah, é verdade, mas é dois, né? Porque aqui foi o one. Ah, dois aqui embaixo, aqui, ó. In conversation about the body. Ah. The body parts. Mas we're Three. not going to... Ok? We can, we can have a conversation about the body parts first. Yes, sorry. Um, what parts... So the, the name of the game is... What part of the body? What part of the body do you use to... Da, na, 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 na. Okay, so Natalie, what part of the body do you use to play volleyball? Volleyball? Yeah. Volleyball is a hand. So you say, I use my... I use my you... hand. Yes, you use your hands. And what part of your body do you use to watch movies? My eyes. Yes. I use my eyes to watch the movies. Very good. And what parts of your body do you use to eat? I use to eat, I use the mouth to eat. Yes. And what part of your body do you use to play football? Um, I use the feet. feet. Only the feet? Wait, it's feet or feet? It's feet. Feet. I use my feet. Feet. But only the feet? No. I think you use the whole system. No. Oh. The feet and the... The legs. The legs, yes. Of course. Uh, what parts what part of your of your body do you use to write? Write? Yeah, write. I use to write in my hand. Yes. Very good. And what part of your body do you use to listen to music? I use my hearing to Yes, your ears. Okay, very good. What part of your body do you use to taste food? Taste? Taste. To taste I food. use my tongue. My tongue, yes, your tongue. Okay, perfect. Very good. Let's go on. Activity three. Now here, three. Can you read the instructions? Choose the right of fiction to complete the sentence. No, plural of food, feet. Food, feet. Yeah, we had talked about this. Food, feet. Uh, aqui, ó, só uma palavrinha aqui, Natalie, please. Option. Option. Yeah, read again. Just this Option. part. Option, yes. Okay, you have to complete the sentences. You have alternatives. So you can just choose one one of them, and right here, okay? Vou dar um tempinho para você fazer, I'll give you a time for you to do. When you finish, let me know.
I know. Okay, very good. Let's check. Can you read one by one, please? On our hands, we have the fingers, ten fingers. Yeah, I think you're right. We, we use the eyes to see. Yes. We have each one. Okay. On a foot, there are five toes. Toes, yes. We use our ears to listen to her. To listen and hear. Hear. Hear, yeah, listen and hear. Essa é a diferença entre escutar e ouvir, né? Listen é escutar, porque você escuta a música, então listen to music. E hear é ouvir, é ouvir, né? Quando você fala assim, você me ouviu? Did you hear me? Tá? Então aqui é escutar e aqui é ouvir. F. People wear hats on their knees. On their... No, hats. Heads, yes. On their knees, não dá. <laughs> a não ser quando você senta, tira o chapéu. Sorry. On a air, wears a scarf around her neck. Neck, neck, yes. Neck. You can feel love with your heart. Okay. We use our nose to smell. Yes. We eat to jump. Yes. One on your ID card, there is a picture of your face. Yes, perfect. Think about you need your foot and your leg. Yes. We have two shoulders and two hands. Okay. We only have, we only had one mouth and one tongue. Okay. People often make tattoos on their back. Okay. In our mouth, we have a lot of a lot of teeth, yes. I think you got it all correct. Yeah, perfect. I want to know what you said here. What did you say? Sentence K. Hmm? Can you translate K for me? K. K. Na nossa identidade tem uma uh -huh. foto da nossa do nosso do nosso rosto ou da nossa cara, né? Pode ser da nossa face, cara. Qualquer um. Ok, very good. Uh, ou. Faz usa ou para mim. Oh. Ou. As pessoas normalmente fazem tatuagem em suas costas. Em suas costas, yes. Perfect. Very good, Natalie. Let's go on. Então, o que eu tinha falado para você agora aqui, oh, no, we are going to practice this. Yeah, eu tinha falado para você. Present continuous for future plans. Ok. Exercise 4. Present continuous for future plans. Can you read the instructions here? You can use. You can use the present continuous for plans in the future. Remember to use the expression tomorrow, next week, this week, tonight, or to see. On Tuesday, né? any day of the week, right? On Tuesday, on Friday, qualquer dia da semana que você quiser, any day of the week that you want. So that's it. Basicamente é isso, né? Uh, let's listen to the. Você pode aí né, repetir, ouvir e repetir, ok? É, só para conversar, falar, falar, falar sobre isso, né? Se você colocar então o tempo, o tempo, né? Here we have some examples of future, future uh, times, né? Future expressions. Tomorrow, next week. Isso que vai diferenciar o present continuous, né? I am studying, eu estou estudando. I am studying next week, eu vou estudar semana que vem. That's what makes it different. So let's listen, you can repeat. I am meeting my friends on Saturday. 
I'm meeting my friends on Saturday. I am not meeting my friends on Saturday. I'm not meeting my friends on Saturday. Am I meeting my friends on Saturday? Am I meeting my friends on Saturday? Mr. White is coming here next week. Mr. White is coming here next week. Mr. White isn't coming here next week. Mr. White isn't coming here next week. Is Mr. White coming here next week? Is Mr. White coming here next week? They are playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. They are playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. They aren't playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. They are playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Are they playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock? They are they playing tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Yes, perfect. Okay. And there is a note here. Note, can you read the note, please? Other forms of future. Going to or will. Yeah, essas a gente já estudou, né? I guess we have seen going to também é o futuro e future também é o futuro. Ok? There is a difference, né? Tem uma diferencinha entre eles lá, mas agora não vamos falar sobre isso. São todo, todas formas de futuro. So, present continuous. All, all you have to do, né? Tudo que você tem que fazer is write the present continuous and, and you put a future expression. Ok? So, here we have an exercise that you have to put the sentences in the present continuous and you have the future expressions, they are here. Né? As expressões do futuro já estão aí, they are here already. So, just put the sentences in the present continuous, okay? I'll give you a, a little time to do it. When you finish, let me know. Lembrando que present continuous é o ing, né? Para quem esquecer. E tem que colocar o verbo to be. Never forget the verb to be. Como tá aqui na okay. tabela. Né? Todos têm verbo to be, am, is. So, let's go. Pronto. Very good. So tell me, can you read the sentences, please, with the changes you have done? Kim is watching the game this week. Mm -hmm. We aren't cooking tonight. We are eating out. Yes, very good pronunciation. Eating out. Yeah, see. Are you having your final test on Monday? Uh -huh. Mr. Jones isn't traveling to Paris next month anymore. Yeah, translation. That's a phrase you can. É, o Sr. Jones não vai viajar para Paris no próximo mês. Mas isso. Só que não é o Sr. Jones, não. Miss Jones. Mrs. É senhora? Senhora Jones, isso. Porque se fosse o senhor, seria MR. Mr. Ah, é MR. MRS é Senhora Jones. F. No, E, sorry. A, a store isn't open 
in my neighborhood on March 5th, 5th, and 25th. 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 Yeah, 25th. Uh, can you repeat the beginning? I store. I store is open in my neighborhood in March 5th. Not open. I ing opening. Opening. Yeah. Yeah. My store is opening. Okay. Tony seeing Rachel tomorrow. They are in love. Yes. Is Nate meeting their parents next week? John and I aren't coming to the school next week. Yeah. Aqui essa frase G aqui tem um negócio errado. Uh, there is a or I don't know if it's wrong, but it's funny, né? Is Nate meeting their parents? Mas e se os pais forem do Nate? Daí não é their, right? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah he, he is, yes. Is Nate meeting his parents next week? Their parents? I don't know. Só se ele vai encontrar os pais de outra pessoa, né? Não os dele. Their parents. E de mais de uma pessoa ainda. <risos> ok. Ou tá falando dos pais do Nate e do irmão dele. Aí até poderia ser. Ok. Any questions, Natalie? Não. Não? Ok. Então só para lembrar aqui, ó, né? Tem esse anymore que é o mais negativo, né? Mrs. Jones isn't traveling to Paris next month anymore, quer dizer, ela não vai viajar mais, né? É o mais negativo, que não vai acontecer mais. Very good. Exercise 6, now it's time for you to practice and writing your own sentences. Can you read the instructions for us, Natalie, please? Write sentences about you about you, your family and friends using the present continuous for future plans. See the example. Yes. Let's check the, the examples, please. I'm playing guitar with my friends tonight. I'm cooking tonight. My mother is watching a movie on Friday. She isn't working this week. Okay, very good. So I want one, two, three, four positives, one, two, three, four negatives. Okay. Let's try. You are going to invent your sentences. Do it when you finish and tell me.
kind of. Perfect. Tell me your sentences, please. Come on, the positive ones. I'm studying next week. My friend is working next month, Monday. Mm -hmm. My dad is traveling tomorrow. I'm going to work next week. Então, essa última, I'm going to work, você usou going to, e não o present continuous future. Ah, é. É o que eu pensei que eu fiz como tinha o ENG, eu podia usar. Mas daí você usou going to, né? I'm going to work next week, next week, você falou? É. Daí, o que você tem que fazer para transformar em present continuous? Não sei, I'm going to work. I'm, I'm working? Yes. I'm working next week. Isso aí, se não... É, tem uma diferença, né? Então vamos aproveitar aqui, já que a gente está conversando sobre isso, e vamos ver a diferença mesmo. I'm going to... Daí tem I will work Três frases aí, né? Ó. Mm -hmm. In the future Uma com will Outra com going to E outra só com o present continuous mesmo né? Geralmente aqui, ó Esse vai ser um future Vai ser plan. Você está planejando. Né? Esse aqui é revision. É uma previsão apenas. Tá? E esse aqui é fixed. Tipo, digamos, aqui você está planejando. Ah, eu vou trabalhar semana que vem. Tipo, Aqui você não tem escolha nenhuma, porque você vai ter que trabalhar já. I'm working, tipo, já tá na agenda lá, já... Tipo, teu chefe já falou pra você, ó, oh, semana que vem você vem trabalhar. Então, tipo, não tem escolha, você não tem o que fazer pra mudar. Né? E aqui você tá só pensando, ah, eu acho que vou trabalhar semana que vem, tipo... I think, aqui, what you think, né? I think I will work, né? Você não tem certeza aqui. É por isso que geralmente com will eles, eles usam I think I will work Ou eu, eu, eu acho que eu vou trabalhar tá? Basicamente essa é a diferença entre Os três futures Os três futuros aí What about your negative sentences? You have some negative too, right? I'm not waking early tomorrow Uh -huh. I'm not cleaning my house this weekend. Uh -huh. We can cook them tonight. Uh -huh. Eu só fiz três porque uma era com o outro. Ah, ok. É... A primeira lá de novo. Can you repeat the first one? The first negative one? I'm not, I'm not waking early tomorrow. Yes. Uh, I'm not waking up early. Porque ah. eu acordar é wake up, né? Up early. Okay. Seven. Now we have to make questions to ask each other. Okay. So let's create some questions to ask each other. Okay? Só umas quatro assim, tá bom? You don't, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, like four sentences. I guess it's okay. Um,
Okay, I have four sentences. Very good. So let's try. You ask me one, I ask you another one. Are you working next week? Yes, I am. And you are you visiting any relatives uh, next week? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you cooking dinner tonight? Probably. Prob I probably will cook <laughs> dinner tonight. Probably. Uh, are they opening cinemas next month? I I don't know. I don't think so. It's open. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um, are you cleaning your house on this weekend? No, I'm not. My wife is. I'm I'm working all week. Are you cooking lunch tomorrow? Probably. <laughs> okay. Do you have That's a menu? Okay. Do you have a menu in mind? No. No. I don't know why, what I'm going to do. Okay. Is that this today? Okay, so is your mother taking the dog for a walk tonight? No, she isn't. No? Do you have dogs? No. Uh, you have a cat? No. Do you have any pets? Yeah. What do you have? I have three birds. Three birds? Oh. Only three birds? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Where do, where do they stay? I don't know if you got out of they, are they in your bedroom? No. Or in the kitchen? Uh, next. Room. Next what? Sorry, can you repeat? They are in next next room. Next. Oh, in the next room. Oh, okay. Yes. But they stay in the house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. So Natalie, this is the um, present continuous for future plans okay that you have to study with uh for future whether you use it for future and along with going to and will which is a good thing for you to see the difference between them okay so uh this is the class six i will give you class uh, six in the workbook for you to do as a homework. Tá? Então, como hoje, class six aí do student book, fica class six do workbook de homework. Ok? For you to do. Okay. Eu vou mandar no grupo lá. I'm going to send in the group uh, more exercises for you to practice with future tenses. Tá? Tanto com present continuous for future, como going to and will lá no grupo para todo mundo ver, todo mundo estudar. And you have to do more, ok? Remember when you're practicing this, English out, né? Sempre lê as frases em voz alta para poder praticar o seu speaking também. Seja lendo tabelinha igual essa aqui, or doing the exercises, né? o negócio é sempre praticar com English out. Ok? Ok. 
Okay, so thank you very much for your participation. This was the Jumper Online Class 6. Aula que vem, né? next class, we are going to correct the homework for class 6 and we are going to class 7. Okay, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, manda lá no zap, quiser falar comigo, quiser entrar em contato aí, perguntar qualquer coisa, teacher, como é que eu faço isso, aquilo e tal, what time, and see you next class, okay? Bye. Bye-bye, thank you.